Hey there, poets. Welcome back to Writer's Workshop. My name is Mrs. Lanning, and I'm so excited. We're almost to publishing day, my friends. So you poets and songwriters have been working so hard throughout this entire unit to try different moves of poetry. And as we've learned, poetry is a very creative type of writing that has so many different types of craft moves. And I'm really proud of you authors for being brave and trying new things. You've written so many poems and songs, and now it's time for us to prepare one to publish and share with the world. You may remember all of the fun celebrations that we've had throughout this year. And the next time we meet, we'll be celebrating and sharing our poem or our song. What's so special about poetry is that it's a type of writing that is always meant to be read out loud or sang out loud. That means tomorrow or the next time we meet, we need to be ready to read or sing our songs and poems in our best poets or song voice. Today, you will polish up your poem by making sure that you have the right words, lines, and punctuation to show our readers how to read or sing our poem. But ideally, you'll be the one performing the poem. You'll be saying and reading it out loud, or you'll be singing it, or maybe you're making a cool video of you performing it out loud. Poets, reading a poem is a lot like being an actor or an actress, or maybe even a singer. We want to ensure our voice and our body language match the message our poem is sharing, just like we've practiced. As you may have seen when I did my poem, now it's time for us to go and just read, 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 read. I had my body language matching by dancing to the beat, throwing my hands up in the air on that last word, and I had to practice that to determine how I was going to read and sing the poem, how my voice was going to sound, and then what my body was going to be doing too to match it. You may even find it helpful to sketch tiny emojis next to some of your words to remind yourself what voice or tone to read or sing in. So today, I want to hear you practicing out loud, reading your poem, singing your po poem, getting it down, adding in those emojis if you need to, to remind yourself what type of voice you are going to read in. Now remember, the next time we meet, you are going to share your poem or your song. Maybe you're going to create a video for it. Maybe you're going to perform it live. Whatever it is, I want you to remember to use your best poet voice and to make sure that you have written your poem exactly the way you want it. If you want something capitalized to show that it needs to be emphasized, make sure that you do that. If you need to add in some illustrations, make sure that you do that. But the next time we meet, I know you'll be prepared to read or sing your poem out loud to share with us and share all of the hard work that you've committed to doing this unit. All right, writers, it's your turn. Writers go write.